Hi everyone, I'm Donna Downey here for Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft and today I'm going to show you how to paint using gelatos and Art Grip Aquarelle watercolor pencils. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to prepare my surface to paint on. I'm going to be using raw canvas and eventually it will be an art piece that you can wrap around a canvas board or you can stretch yourself. So the first thing I'm going to use gesso and I'm going to put it all over this canvas so that my surface is primed and ready to accept my color. So just with a brush, I'm going to put a quite liberal amount of gesso on there. And all this is doing is taking the porousness out of my surface almost as if it's just preparing so the color will roll across the top. So as you can see, I've prepped a whole nother surface and I've already got my gesso dry and I've already started drawing my figure. Now in my original one, I freehanded it, but I know it's not so easy to freehand. So I have a stencil here. And I'm just gonna show you how I just took my Art Grip Aquarelle watercolor pencils. And I just traced the important part. I went around her hair just to make those lines so I know where her eyes are. I went just to put where her lips and her nose was and to sketch the outline of her face. So my little girl here, she's going to have brown hair. So I'm just going to use Gelato's Double Scoop and I'm going to trace the outline of the lines that I have there. Really cool to note is that because my lines were drawn with watercolor, that means as I start to blend this away, my lines will go away and it will look like it's part of my art, not just an outline. So I'm just tracing this, and I'm really not trying to fill it in, but just get an outline. And I can add mixes of colors in. If you want yours to have turquoise hair, feel free. So you'll see, as I add a little bit of water, kind of pressing the syringe here, my brush will start to activate. And then I can start really painting with that color on there. I'm just gonna go around the edges, just kind of doing the dance, like I said, manipulating this color to get the effect I want. I'll have to add more water when I want it drippy and less water when I want it to be just a nice crisp line. So now that I've got her hair fashioned kind of in the way I want, I wanna now add some drips. And it's easier for me to do that with pencil. So I'm gonna go directly into a cup of water here and dip that pencil and start to create these tendrils. And I've got this pencil, move it over here. Pencil into the water, and I'm just gonna drag it. And you'll see I'm twisting and dragging, and I'll just create these tendrils of hair that start to drip and move across the piece. And if you keep twisting it, you'll get these more random tendrils, and you'll watch it just kind of drip. There we go. And I'm just gonna lift this up. There we go, and have it drip. Now as far as the features of her face, again, it's much easier to use something with a fine point like Art Grip Aquarelle watercolor pencils. I'm just gonna go in and add little bits of shadow. The more wet it is, the more painterly it will look. All right, so as far as adding some skin tone, you can either use a gelato or gesso. I'll show you just really quickly how you're like, oh wow, she's so talented, she added white. You need the white so that you can add the skin tone. See that add in super quick with just my finger. So you get the point. You're gonna keep shading, you're gonna keep wiping color away and blending it in until you get the look you exactly like. But you can see how using both the gelatos as well as the Art Grip Aquarelle watercolor pencils. It's gonna give you that look and feel that you need to kind of massage the, the image to come to life through your canvas. <laughs> 